So what can we talk about today? Well, a lot of people are asking me about what can we do now for business or if we lose our job, what is the next step? If you are a business owner or an entrepreneur and you are failing in your business because of uh, lack of clients or, uh, you know, quarantine. I've been designing a book called Always Ahead. So either your business that is failing or failed, you're surviving or you become stronger or you become wiser or you are able to sustain and survive and thrive. So there must be some secrets why people can't sustain, thrive and succeed during this time, the most difficult time of our lives and for businesses. I have been studying a lot of these, uh, knowing that this pandemic is going to come and global economy and global, maybe even depression will come. So I have a book that has predicted all of these since uh, six years ago. So I have already some idea and a lot of my clients are consulting me for their businesses. I received some of my advices. I think if you are an owner of uh, businesses that's over 500 employees, you'll be forced to close some of your units and maybe fire 50% or even more. And those left are to be paid half of the salary and work more. Well, I think it's not viable this time. So if you are an employed person who are still employed, maybe stay, get in, stay being employed and do your best to save and maybe go for a survival mode, conserve, or, well, some people go for investing for gold and silver or metals. But if you are a big company, uh, this is time to think of diversity. And I call it sometimes uh, rural home entrepreneurship. Living in the city with all contaminations, noise, stress, and now with pandemic, you have social distancing. It's hard to maintain a viable business if you cannot be together and serve your clients in proximity. So online can be fine for some time, but if you want to really grow the business, uh, it has to be in a better situation. In a less, uh, I would say, volatile environment and more predictable and also uh, higher value for your money. So rural entrepreneurship, plus you put your own home in a rural setting where you choose the best view, like I said, this view where you have fresh air, no stress, no pollution, a lot of fresh fruits of the season and organic vegetables where you grow yourself. Uh, I think it's a new life where people are forced to think of a rural life uh, quality better than city life where you don't have to be in traffic to work you just from your kitchen you eat you're dining and then you go to your office just the same house and then you talk to your client even in your shirt and you don't have to have a tie so you're doing online business or you can employ less expensive talents shrink your workforce uh, specialize, 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 uh, move from generalization of business to highly specialized lines that you don't have to employ so many people, but just pick the right talents that makes a very strong, highly effective team. You can focus on a specialized line that can earn your best ROI without having to worry with so many employees, well, like in big corporations. I'm sure the rich dad, poor dad had recommended that if you're an employee, you better be self-employed or self-employed, you better be a, a business person or from a business person, you should be an investor and play golf and forget about working and let them work for you and your, let your money work for you and retire early. So I, th I don't think those are the best advice you can have right now. You need to really work so hard and intelligently right now to serve humanity and your capacity as a talent while maintaining a donation or a contribution to society so you become a philanthropist. So you can be a philanthropist but really working for that money you're donating for a good cause. Instead of just donating your money for a good cause and letting pop people misuse your funds and you don't even know if they're really using it well. Or be an entrepreneur working hard to just get money and donate it later on to a good cause. Why not combine those two best aspects of you? 
be a philanthropist or benefactor, serving the needs of others, but why not in your niche market? A mission, a calling you choose to do that is close to your heart, that is close to your service uh, in, uh, intelligence and, and combine your, instead of donating to others, you donate to yourself, earn as much as you can while serving a good cause under your own roof, under your own team and managing it yourself. So I call it philanthropy. Uh, like a philanthropist and entrepreneur combined and if you do this in a rural setting you are a rural entrepreneur but this time managing your own business in a rural setting with your homestead or your home while working in the same place so you don't have to worry about pandemics or civil unrest in the city with so much population competing for a limited quantity of food or medicine or services so rural a uh, home entrepreneur is somebody who lives in the rural area and manages their entrepreneurship and investments and work and the services in the same place where they live without any more traffic jams or, or spending more money uh, in your gas while being in traffic or rushing to work uh, two hours ahead of time to meet your clients and then going home delayed for two hours because of traffic. You save time, you save your gas, you save your time, your talent, and you can live in uh, an area where you have part-time gardening, uh, releasing your, your, your other talents by not going anywhere that say, uh, waste your time and your resources. So I have been creating a lot of models which can be used by people who are tired of the city life or think there's a big threat of another pandemic or civil unrest or I would say uh, uh, violent outcomes of any kind of uh, global economy meltdown. So it's better to be safe and secured, then you can work on survival and then you can work on sustainability. There's no sustainability if you don't have safety and security first and survive. So for you to work on sustainability now, you need to be safe to be in a good environment and not contaminated by other infectious diseases that might come again or not to be affected by violent behavior of people who are hungry because they don't have food they don't have work and this civil unrest can come anytime soon because of this global economy uh, uh, I would say depression or even recession uh, extendable until we find uh, even your vaccines as they say so let's not wait for our circumstances to determine our fate and our destiny. We have to decide very soon, well, there's a portal of time to move from the urban life to a rural life and establish and incubate your business where you can stay there, live there, do business there and develop also the rural uh, economy. Why did we overdevelop the urban area and still suffer through the jams of traffic and overdevelopment? Why can we not be the pioneers in the rural setting and be the lead servers, lead, uh, I would say, entrepreneurs and become the stimulation force of a new fresh environment such as this, as you say, which I came here uh, five years ago from the United States to start this uh, rural home entrepreneurship, which is partly also my mission and calling to be able to serve around all my clients around the world through online which we do a lot of online uh, crisis rescue, online crisis therapy, online crisis management. And also we do a lot of COVID-19 uh, healing online. We also do a lot of HIV and AIDS healing online and all kinds of incurable diseases. And also we have our subject matter expertise taught online also. We have uh, e-books. My books are online, my products are online. So you can start to enjoy not an early retirement by not working, retiring from the uh, urban life of stress, the daily rut of daily, daily stress and burnout, and enjoy your family, your friends, a new sets of values to support your lifestyle. Less stress, less diseases, good food, organic vegetables and fruits of the season, and also a new mindset that you can have more time for yourself, for your children, for your parents, for other people around you and build a new community that are thinking the same uh, zip code of consciousness and, and work for more enlightenment, work for more balance and work for 
extending your longevity because your health will improve definitely in a rural setting compared to urban life where there's so much stress, noise, and all kinds of preoccupation. So first, rural home entrepreneurship. Put your own homes and, and business and incubate your business in a rural setting. You can always find some things to do that is greater than just a city life where you just go to a you know, gym. There's, you don't have to be in a gym all the time. You can use nature as your, your, your clinic to heal yourself. Your, nature to jog to bike, to put your own uh, swings. I put a lot of swings here. Uh, you can exercise, pull up bars anywhere. You can jog in all the trails. You have always fresh air like this and so on. So you have to think safety, security, survival, uh, instincts should be honed and stimulated and then sustainability will come in and then continuity of your life and mission. So another thing that I'm doing now is to stimulate people to incubate their services and businesses as a spiritual entrepreneur. So they will have to find a good evolutionary projects and a good cause where they put their own, uh, their own uh, money to develop another kind of business that supports evolution for the earth, uh, for humanity and others. So spiritual entrepreneurship is taken more seriously now because people want to find more meaning in doing things that are more ev evolutionary, something that is more useful directly to human beings, to the planet, to the environment, rather than just making a lot of money and ho hopefully retire and donate your money for a good cause, which you don't have something uh, to do with anything or not a part of your calling. So have your own calling, establish your purpose and finance it yourself. You can make money and grow and serve with it. And also you can call it spiritual entrepreneurship or philanthropeneur. Okay? All right, good luck. I'm Master Delpe. I'm author of 12 books. I help a lot of people, CEOs. I help incubate many businesses of clients. And I do a lot of crisis rescue. Right now, there's a lot of them. Crisis therapy for those people who are really getting lost and falling in an abyss of difficulties. And crisis management for organizations, business that are falling or merely surviving. Or even families that are really suffering today because of our COVID-19 and pandemic issues and, and uh, shut down and a lot of people really are in trouble today not only financially but as a species we need to be able to rise again and take the opportunity with our own hands and also with our group mates and again align to the right cause of life where we have more freedom more power more love and conscience and also a highly developed intelligence Good luck to everyone. Hope to see you soon. MasterDelPay.com is my website. Visit me there. Namaskar.